What else is there really to say? Other than the speed form kinda go brrrr. Okay then, hopping into the first battle, a couple of scary things, a couple of weird things actually, but... Let's see how the speed form does. Okay, I don't think they have anything that can get rid of entry hazards. Oh, Dasho's actually gonna be the lead. Why though? Okay then, I should have actually mentioned that the first Gyro Golem we're gonna go over is basically kind of like what you would run Gobidemic as. Give it nimble and max speed to make it as fast as possible for other Gyro Golems and just to make it, like I said, as fast as possible with barbs. Although, unlike Gobidemic, we don't have the same support moves. We have Driving Force to force Lumias out and Mudslide to clear up our side of the field while also, because we are TP trained in range attack, to do some damage if it's super effective with Jetstream. Whereas Gobidemic has Muck Plus for its damage move and then for its support moves it has he uh, Hypnotize or Health Kiss is what I usually run and then it has Provoke, which I will say, some people do want me to give the Gargolem line, or I guess forms provoke however i think some other people have also been suggesting tribute instead and i gotta say i do like tribute a little bit more so it's probably gonna get tribute also nice uh i think you clicked hypnotize ain't gonna work on me man because immunize so nice but yeah so for the defense form and the speed form we don't really want to run the secret ability master that's mostly like for the base and the attack form ones i guess i guess you could run one the speed form but we aren't really trying to get ko's it's more just gonna be like a suicide leader, like I said, kind of similar to Gobidemic. Anyway, let's get our final layer of barbs up. So now we've got three. I don't think they can get rid of entry hazards. Saplant does suck because we are running clutch plushy on this one because we aren't really investing that much into our defenses. So yeah, that does kind of suck. Uh, we don't really need to mudslide away a poison barb. I guess we can just go for the driving force and just start getting some chip damage a little bit. I mean, yeah, we have Vednal and we can get rid of Lowe's. We have good mudslide, we don't really need to use it low, but this is fine. But yeah, the sap plant does kind of suck. Oh, Protagon's actually coming in. Okay, we actually could have gone for Jetstream because we also have a little bit more offensive, but Odasho is pretty tanky, and because of sap plant, it's going to get quite a lot of his health back. But this is actually pretty good. I get to go into Venola now, get rid of the barbs that they set up, which really good for me, and we can threaten something with a barter. Killing. There's a poison barbs gone. I just realized they didn't really take that much damage on Prodigon. Is that a health amulet one? No. Why did it take so much little damage from Barbs? Is it because of the metal type and it resist Barbs? I thought Barbs couldn't be resisted. Why did it take so much Oh sap plant? I'm an idiot. Ignore me. <laughs> Ignore me. Okay, oh Dasho's actually getting the uh I also forget what they're called, heavy shackles. So I mean that's actually really good because Odasho runs what? A drop of youth? We can't use it, but it's better that they don't have it. And also now that they're definitely gonna go last, so I'll take it. We'll also throw for poison. Odasho took a lot of damage just by swapping out or swapping in, so I'm thankful for that. Hypnotize is a little bit annoying. Um Odasho here is most likely gonna go for Sap Plant because Venom is very tanky, you can get a lot of health here. So I guess we could actually go into something else that could threaten anything. I guess we could also go into Gargolem because we don't really care too much for that plant anymore since we already took a little bit of damage. Oh, never mind. They actually go for the withdrawal into Gargolem. Okay, this is actually pretty scary uh, because we can definitely get one shot here, I believe. We could, however, just try and go for the Driving Force, but if it does KO us... We're gonna be in trouble. A lot of trouble. Oh wait, we're offensive. Like, we have a lot of ranged TPs, or ranged attack TPs. How much do we actually do to Garagolem attack? Well, <laughs> I don't get to find out, so never mind. I went into Cosmiar. Kinda wish I clicked Driving Force now, because that would have been amazing. And if the attack form came back out, it's already a 50% of his health. There's your health, I'm like, now I know what has it, at least. Uh, not sure what you're trying to do here, but... I don't really want to stay in against you, do I? But at the same time, you're the meatball version. You aren't really going to do a lot, so I actually do will just driving force you out. Peace of mind? Okay, I actually made the right play here. Meatball versions don't really do that much. It's like the cracked form does quite a lot. Meatball form is like just like tanky as heck. That's Nevermare, I'd assume. Yes, it is. How's it going, Nevermare? Uh, I'll take some damage. I do appreciate it, although you could attack us 
pretty hard, and I don't really have a swap in for it, to be honest. I guess Wintrix could be a swap in for it, but not really. I guess the safest option is to go Imperial, because if it does KO us and one shot and critical hit us here, which unfortunately actually doesn't, dang it, uh, we could have uh, basically KO'd it. I guess here we could actually go for the Barter, but I think Shrew Blasting here is better. Right? I think Shrew Blast. Shrew. Yeah, I think doing this is better. Yeah, the Odash will be in Burn. It can't work because it's already poisoned. So this is actually fine. And this actually might KO it. Might. Okay, never mind. It didn't KO it. But that's fine. The next move will go down, or it'll just go down to poison here. It doesn't. But yeah, it will go down this turn. Okay, Shrew Blast will KO it. And then whatever comes out next, we can provoke it or barter it. And we definitely have speed like. I want to say most things. I think we w we can outspeed the attack form. Not sure if we outspeed Nethermare, though. Nimble Nethermare might outspeed us. So I'm actually surprised they didn't just attack us again. But I could be wrong. It could potentially outspeed me. Or I could outspeed it. There's like our golem form. This is not worth going into, man. Because we definitely outspeed this. I know for a fact. Very nimble. 100 base speed. There ain't no shot. You're dead. Right? Yeah. Why? Why? Also, if I had Icicle Traps up there, it would have just died like in two turns of swapping in because quad week to Icicle Traps, which also Gargolan Speed can run. I guess it could drop uh, Jetstream, I guess. I'm trying to think about it, I guess Jetstream would be the one to swap out. Also, Protagon swapping in. I guess I'll just hit it. I don't really have much really to do. And there's no point like trying to swap into Venelon here and just take unnecessary damage. So, I guess we'll just take the KO there. Okay, well, now we go Vendelon. We are asleep, so we are basically giving them a free swap out into whatever they want. Uh, I will just go for the Poison low. If we wake up, i will love to see it. Okay, let's actually stay and go for the Dab Burst. It, oh, okay, I thought it missed for a second. Dang it. That still didn't do a lot. Dang. You really needed that third one to hit, but unfortunately, it didn't, so I like that. Killing that burst again. Oh, it missed that turn. Dang, that really sucks. But I'm still asleep, dang it. Wake up. Okay, that burst again. One. Finally, I got woken up. Two. And that was actually it. Okay. I think it actually needs to hit me three times now. Otherwise, it won't kill me. <laughs> and I get a spam rejuvenate now. Yay! <laughs> okay, that burst again. Oh my gosh, I actually missed. That is so unfortunate, man. That is so unfortunate. Sucks to be you, little man. Okay, I'm gonna go for a rest. Looks like they actually just went for an attack. Deja vu. Uh, I mean, tra being trapped into Rejuvenate isn't the worst thing in the world. You have to go for a rest here, though, and I'm pretty sure a poison takes you out. And if it doesn't, I guess I could actually just go into my Halvantic here, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Or maybe I go into Wintrix. I'll, I'll go Gargolem, actually. I think Gargolem is the safest swap in because we don't want to, like, have them predict us to go into anything. Let this guy down to rest, but I'm pretty sure it does go down to poison, right? Yeah, nice. Okay, Cosmior. Um, yeah, we're just driving fast this out. If we're driving for, I actually could go for slumber, but either way, I'm going to driving fast it out. Um, although I could go for a rest first. We'll go for a wait. I don't want to, like, make Clem two shots, potentially. Although, I do think they're gonna slumber. Never mind, go for Psycho Blasts. That actually does uh, quite a bit. Oh no. Uh, maybe I should have just Driving Force because I'm pretty sure I just die now if I attack with Driving Force. So I guess I just want to jet stream instead. Okay, how much do we do? A lot, right? Okay, unfortunately, not, not that much. And we go down. Dang it. Oh well, that's fine. I think we just go Halvantic here. We click Baneful Bash. And I think we just win, right? I think it's just Nevermare alone in this. Or I could actually click Primal Slash. Primal Slash is actually just better. So, see you later, Cosmior. I now get a critical hit. Okay. Was well, not necessary, but we get a plus one aggressive boost here. And now we get to hit the Nevermare on its weaker defense for super effective. And then plus one. Hehe. <laughs> Also, yeah, it's been, like, weakened to, like, half its health because of the barb. So, also, yeah, love to see it. See you later, Nevermare. Okay, speed farm went pretty well there. We got three layer of barbs up, which is 
a suicide, uh, a suicide leader's dream, basically. Like, Godpodemic wants to do the exact same thing. Okay, then. Hopping into the next battle, there's actually a lot of things they have on their team that is weak to Earth. So, we do get to click Mudslide quite a little bit. Okay, then. So, I will say now we have actually swapped to the more defensive one. So, we aren't running Clutch Plushy. We're running a Health Emulet. Although, we aren't running, like, any attacking investment we're mostly running defensive so we can like try and just naturally get up more layer barbs rather than just like hoping they uh don't get rid of our clip plushy with whatever means anyway goblin lead could actually have a trip route now to actually hit gargolum forms which would be scarier i'm gonna go for layer barbs though looks like it isn't actually very nimble because goblin very nimble do outspeed us gonna go for barbs though we have mudslide we can get rid of those um actually we'll go for mudslide here just so they don't go for provoke although i guess actually i do outspeed them so it doesn't really matter also i get a two shot limb even without investing love to see it gonna go for provoke i mean yeah i should have gone for another layer of barbs and then mud slided but oh well we got rid of the barbs on my side of the field and their options to swap in are very limited because i have like four or five things that are weak to earth so Looking pretty good for me right now. Okay, Mudslide, we actually take out the Gobidemic. That is huge. Uh, because now we can just swap out, swap back in, and try and get more entry hazards up. Although, they have got a couple of things that can get rid of entry hazards. They have two fire types for ice core traps. And they also have uh, Zephalon, which also has Mudslide. Also, why are you Kazune here? You definitely don't outspeed me. And I'm pretty... If we don't live a hit... That is going to suck, but I'm pretty sure we will. Okay. Does it just get Zephalon in? Imperior? We aren't really going to do that much damage, but if it's resentful, this is actually good for me. I'm just kind of like chipping slowly away at your health. Is Provoke done? It is not. I guess we could actually go for Driving Force here. What's Imperior going to do to me? Barter, I guess? Dark Surge. Okay, it's Offensive Imperior, potentially. We actually still have no idea, so I'm going to Driving Force it. That could be offensive because i mean we are running quite a bit of defenses here i'll take a driving force ikazuna's back in now okay we click mudslide again now and also we're chipping away at lower health just a little little bit okay i really want to click barbs low or ice cold traps but i think barbs are more important here uh but zephalon could exist and i don't really like that to be honest i'm gonna click mudslide low looks like i got the right play and ikazuna is now dead this is uh, going pretty well, although I wish our more offensive Gorgolem had this battle because this is defensive. We aren't really meant to be attacking that much with this one, but we're attacking more. Oh, the Imperial was Milkshake. Okay, interesting. Well, I'm going to go for more layer of Babs, I guess, because we know that you can't really hit me that hard. And I outspeed you, so it doesn't really matter what you do, I guess. Dark Surge. Yeah, unless you trick, it'll hit me. It's not really going to do that much. Yeah, we can tank like another two of those. So I guess we could go for another layer of barbs, try three layers, and then I could just swap out, I guess. Ice Cold Traps would still be kind of nice because Zephalon swapping in just takes immediately 25% and another 25% from three layer of barbs. Don't know how I'm going to get that pulled off, though. I'm going to go for another layer of barbs, though, for right now. Okay, Dark Surge. That is going to really hurt now, isn't it? Okay, we can definitely not live another one. The issue is, uh, I don't have anything to, like, help me health get into it, so I can't really do that. I mean, our Gargolem has done its form. Oh, do I can't talk. Our Gargolem has done its job with, like, this specific one meant to just be getting, like, as many entry hazards on the field as possible. It has done its job, but I think it still might be worth keeping around just, like, potentially just swap in just expecting it to die here uh i kind of want to go frost beam so i will dark surge that's fine i mean frost beam should do a little bit more damage than mudslide so it doesn't really matter what i clicked i just didn't want the zeppelin to swap in for free and do a lot of damage please that is actually really good so if it is resentful it ain't gonna do anything now so we love to see it <laughs> i'm actually gonna click recycle here because i only have enough energy for one more dark surge so i basically just get like a free milkshake so i'm back over half my health which is i guess better than not doing it so love to see it no point really doing it again we'll just go for the frost beam actually we'll just yeah we'll just frost beam it doesn't really matter what move we click 10 energy isn't really going to help us out too much with fishgana okay see you later imperior 
resentful. Okay, it is resentful, so I'm glad uh, we didn't have Tsunami on this one. I had to swap my fish gunners because my usual offensive fish gunner runs health amulets. I can't run two of them, okay. This, however, is an issue. Uh, I could actually go Gargolem here and just, like, waste energy. And also we get to keep our fish gunner for whatever reason, so... I guess we could go into Gargolem here. Definitely not going to be able to get a weight off because Chili Chomp exists. So yeah, goes for Thunder Chomp. Hehe, <laughs> wasting your energy. I got him. This would actually be amazing if I had enough energy for one mudslide. If I didn't go for two more barbs, I could mudslide here, man. I'll just go for rest. I don't think we're going to be able to live low unless he's boots, which he isn't. Mega Chomp definitely takes us out. Dang it. I could dream okay. I guess here we just go Imperior, just hoping that it kind of one-shots us, but, I mean, it probably will leave us on, like, one health. We could batter it so it just gets burnt, but I think I'd rather just do damage so Halvantic is guaranteed to KO it. Oh, Blade Trump, I forgot about that one. That definitely kills us, so... Resentful, lol, you wish your Imperior did that much damage. Yours only did, like, 10 health. Okay, they go into Volkaloa. We actually got lucky here, Winton Fishgana. It can definitely has Coconut Bomb low, and definitely will most likely go for it now, but a bit of recall will never hurt anyone, so we'll just mudslides. Brawn Boost, okay! So at least we know it's not Boots, so Halvan take out speeds it, so it's not really that big of a threat. And also, if it clicks Coconut Bomb now, it dies! <laughs> Actually just dies! Savage good, okay. It didn't use Coconut Bomb, and that just still takes me out. Dang it. But that's fine. We got Halvantic. They have one more Lumion. I'm trying to think what our safest play is. I think just Baneful Bash. I don't think they really had anything swap into a Baneful Bash. They could have to clip, so Primal and Dark Move Narrowly Gash isn't that great. I think it's our best play. And if it's the, uh... Wait, that was it? I thought they had one more! I am... Losing my mind, I guess. Okay, then. Now, let's go over the sets. Starting off with the more offensive one, we're running 200 speed TPs with a nimble personality to let us be as fast as possible. The 200 range attack TPs lets us learn hit as hard as possible. The 8 range defense TPs prevents Protagon from getting a range attack increase. 80 health TPs is mostly leftovers, but does keep our health stat odd because we are quad weak to ice cold traps, which is really bad for us. We don't really need any energy investment because our energy is just so naturally high so four TPs in it, we'll just do. And then the eight melee attack TPs are there because we can't really put them anywhere else. Health would make us even, melee defense will make Protagon get a range attack increase, so either slap into energy or melee attack like I've done, so driving force does like one extra damage to things. For the item line, we are running the clutch plushie, so we are guaranteed to not die in one turn, which will let us do our job of mainly setting up as many entry hazards as possible before we die. And then for the ability, we're running the normal ability immunized, which is actually better than the secret ability master on the speed form specifically, as it prevents us from being put to sleep, especially by things like Gobademic that just naturally outspeed us if they're running max speed with very nimble. And then finally for the Muslin, we're running Babs as our form of entry hazard option, then we have Jet Stream and Mudslide as our damaging options, which will let us do some decent damage, but we're mostly trying to look for things that we can hit for super effective damage with our range attack investment, while Mudslide also has the added effect of removing entry hazards from outside of the field too. And then Driving Force is the last move I have, which can let us avoid having Lumia set up in our face since the speed form doesn't deal huge amount of damage. Although, there are a lot of options like Ice Cold Traps, Dodge, and Gust instead. And now for the defensive set, we're running 200 speed TPs with a nimble personality to let us be as fast as possible. The 192 health TPs give us as much health as possible while also keeping it at an odd value because we're quad weak to Ice Cold Traps, which is pretty bad. We don't really need to invest into our energy stat since our energy is just so naturally high, so 4 TPs will do. And then the melee defense and range defense TPs are left Overs, which we have basically split down the middle, although we want to make sure that our range defense is slightly higher just for protagons. Because we're investing so much into our defensive stats, it would be kind of a waste to use the clutch plushie item as it would really only help us for super effective moves. So, with all of this defense investment, we can run a different item like a health amulet, milkshake, heavy armor, or heavy shield or even a pearl. Then, the ability we're running is the normal ability immunized, which is actually better than the secret ability master, specifically on the speed form, as it prevents us from being put to sleep. And also, we aren't really trying to look for kills with this thing. And then finally, for the Muslin, we're running Barbs and Ice Cold Traps as our entry hazard options. We'll mostly be clicking Barbs, but if we see any Garagolums, especially the attack form, 
it could be worth to use icicle traps. Then we have mudslide to remove entry hazards from outside the field while also letting us hit things for some damage at the very least. And then our last move is driving force to let us hit things to gather as much chip damage with our entry hazards and also prevent things from setting up on us. Although you have got some other options like dodge, gust or I guess you could just run a more offensive move if you want to.